This week on the Auto Car Show, we drive Maruti's new diesel SX4. We take Honda's new facelifted Accord for a spin. And get the scoop from the world of automobiles from Hormuz. Maruti Suzuki's SX4 was launched in 2007, surrounded by a lot of hype and a lot of expectations from potential buyers. It didn't live up to all of it and since then it's been chugging along. But now Maruti is ready to spice things up and give it a bit more of dumb, actually a lot more of dumb, with some solid diesel power. Under the hood is the Fiat engineered 1.3 litre motor which we have seen before in the Fiat Linea and the Tata Manza. But here Maruti has made and tuned the motor specifically for the SX4. Well, this motor could have come a little bit sooner, but as they say, it's never too late. So, we're going to hit the road now to see how this motor has been set up by Maruti. This 1248cc diesel motor has a variable geometric turbo and churns out 90 bhp of power. From 7050 rpm you get 20.4 kgm of torque on tap. All this is pretty much on par with other cars in the same class that use the same motor. But there is one place where the SX4 diesel makes an incredible impression. What's brilliant is the refinement. This is very, very silent. The use of hydraulic engine mounts and extra sound deadening on the bulkhead has made a huge impact. At idle, it's very hard to make out that there's a diesel motor under the hood. Of course, being an oil burner, the engine is also heavier. So overall weight has gone up by 55 kilos. To deal with this, Maruti has upgraded the brakes and also retuned the suspension. The result is an extremely pliant ride. However, the main focus has to be the motor and Maruti to get the best results has made many tweaks. On the whole, the results are very good. In slow moving city traffic, the engine is more than game to just trundle along without needing you to make too many gear changes. Maruti has made its own gearbox with slightly shorter ratios. There's a remapped ECU and the soft boost from the variable geometry turbo makes light work of heavy city traffic. The gear shift can be a little bit clunky but it has a nice, meaty, fun to use feel. After a couple of more kilometers under the belt, I was left wanting for a bit more from the motor. I do wish there was a little bit more punch at the bottom end. It would really make even those quick overtaking maneuvers all that much more easy. To feel the full punch of the turbo, you have to get past 2000 RPM and then it really gets into a flow. Past 2000 RPM, progress is quick and there is no lack of punch. The SX4 diesel will add speed without making a fuss. Keep your foot down and the engine will just happily rev all the way to 4,500 RPM and even up to 5,000 RPM with just the slightest hesitation. Push the SX4 Super Turbo hard and it will hit 100 km an hour from standstill in 13.8 seconds. At highway speeds, the SX4 diesel's poise is relaxed and grippy. It is very much at ease and the new diesel motor doesn't let it down either. It has a top speed of 165 km per hour and it can maintain triple digit speeds with ease, though a taller fifth gear would have made the engine feel more relaxed on long highway trips. Maruti claims that the SX4 diesel returns 21.5 km per litre. However, in the autocar fuel efficiency test, it returned 13.2 km per litre in the city and 17.1 km per litre out on the highway. And that is pretty much on par with other cars that use the same motor. 
At standstill, the SX4 retains its muscular look. There's only the addition of the DDIS badges to mark this as the diesel. The interiors retain the same design. However, the fit and finish does feel quite good. Maruti has launched the diesel in the VDI and ZDI versions. The ZDI will also be available with leather upholstery. However, the SX4 diesel buyers would surely have appreciated some differentiation from the petrol version. The practicality of the SX4 diesel will still be enough to tempt them. We've seen Maruti do this before with the Swift and the Swift Desire. They took a diesel engine from Fiat, tuned it for their cars, dropped it in there and made a killer package out of it. Well, the story is really not all that different with the SX4 diesel. This one has the 1.3-litre engine with the VGT, of course, which might sound a little too little for a car of this size, but it copes with the task really quite well. It's only when you want that sudden overtaking manoeuvre that you need to switch down a gear or two for that added punch to get it done in a jiffy. Other than that, refinement is very good. The drivability is also very good. It's only at the bottom end that a little bit more punch would have been nice. So the SX4 diesel's price tag has gone up by under 1 lakh rupees as compared to the petrol variant. But that still makes the SX4 diesel a very good package. After this break, find out what's new in the facelifted Accord.